Hi there, this is a review for the England top that I bought from Soccer Jersey Paradise. Um, so I'm just going to go quickly through it, exactly what I received and the quality. So first of all, you can see came in a standard issue Nike bag. Um, not much to say to that. Looks genuine enough. Got all your normal blurb on the back. Again, won't labour over that. So, my England top. And it's the away one, the current away one for the 15 16 season. Um, retailing for about £70 at the moment over here in England. So, it's very, very good quality. So, just going to go with the badge first of all. That's well stitched. Hold on. One, two, three. Yep, three lions. And they're all facing the right way. So, that's success. Um, yeah, it's really good stitching actually. That's fantastic. I'm very impressed with that. Yeah, you can have a look inside. It's very neatly stitched all the way around. Very good. You can see there it's got the tags on England exclusive product I think that's a bit too shiny to be like a proper night tag they're not normally as shiny they're more of a matte finish this is a gloss finish um, it's only the tags, no one really cares, no one will even know. Yeah, the finish is normally like that on the proper tags on the black part. Dry flit. And yeah, just like a proper Nike label as well, just like that, original. Looks good. Going over to the collar, um, again, that's how it is on the original. It's got a really nice collar, it's a really nice feel to it. That's kind of like a bit of a rubbery plastic one, I guess. It's really, really good. That's all kind of printed on. Going over to the Nike badge. Excellent. It's really well done, that is. So, it's got like the chevrons on the side, which if I stick my hand through, you should be able to see through of, yep. It's kind of like a little rubbery feel from the inside there. It's a really good material. Going over, you've got the dry fit logo. Um, I noticed that this is a telltale sign here. The original, if I can zoom in properly, get focus. The original doesn't have, if you see, it's got like a DR, DR and then a little line in between. The stitching, you can't really tell, but the original doesn't have that line in between. It is individual letters. So you just want to make sure you're not really highlighting that to anyone. On the underside, it's uh, not as neat as the other ones, but it is the underside, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, that's one thing you just want to be careful of there. Next, you've got the authentic badge. Um, oh, 2014. Is it the 14-15 kit or is this the 15-16? No, that might be right actually. Sorry, I might have it wrong. Um, I do need to think of um, here. It looks like you've got, I've got, I was quite lucky. I was in the first 200,000 to get this top. Clearly not the case. Um, but that's always a telltale sign on being a replica on an authentic kit. Um, that number, it really should be a lot higher. But generally most of these um, replicas that you buy online um, 
they all have a very short number which you can kind of kind of gives it away flip this over there shouldn't be much to tell on the back it's a standard issue England top again I'm very impressed with it materials really really good